Big blue. Big blue, yes. Nice. Okay, I need to... Yellow, Trevor yellow. is down for the count. Yellow, yellow. Warm out putting that thing together. Oh, yeah, that's good. I just hold on a second. This All is right, not... listen, I thought you were going to finish this tomorrow. No, I am. I'm just 20 pieces away from an architectural geniosity thing here. I think, no, I need a red corner. I need a red corner. It's an orange corner. I need a red corner. <clears throat> I got your piece right here. What? You have to find it because oh. toy time is over. Oh, no, honey. It is time to play with me right now. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yes. Mm. This is a fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Whoa! One eyewitness is all I need to nail your slick ass, Mr. Hayward. One eyewitness. Hey! You're home early. That's not a complaint. You okay? I'm fine. I thought you said you'd have this all cleaned up by the time I got home. Yeah, well, you got home early and I thought you would, baby. Hey, I got it. I got you it. You know what? I can't live like this. Baby, what? What is it? Work, Hayward? It's, I swear to well, God it's, it's, that... It's, it's, it's not David. And what is it? I'm just tired. That's all. I want to go change. Baby... There's something you're not telling me. What is it? Uh, Angela Hubbard. Angela, it's Dr. Belden. I'm calling about the latest test results. Any chance you'd be able to come down to the hospital to discuss them? Could we meet somewhere else outside the hospital? Not tonight, I'm afraid, and this can't wait until tomorrow. Uh, is there a problem? I'd rather go over everything in person. Sure. <clears throat> you just got home. Well, it can't be helped. Can't somebody else handle this emergency? Only one chief of staff. I won't be long. Angela, you are the boss. People are supposed to be jumping through hoops for you, not the other way around. Yeah, well, it doesn't always work that way. One hour. Just take one hour to sit down and have See, some dinner. I have to go in now. Fine. Do whatever you gotta do. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I just, um, have a really, really bad migraine. Just one more reason not to go back to the hospital. Listen, sweetheart, please, could you do me a favor? Name it. Uh, find me some ibuprofen. Done. Thanks. It's me. Can you please pick me up outside the loft and take me to the hospital? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I could do that. What? Okay, sorry. No, what, what? What are you doing? Oh, the hospital needs me. Jake. Sorry, baby. That was Angie, wasn't it? It was, yeah. You cannot be the only doctor on call. Well, no, but she's actually helping me out if you want to know the truth. By keeping you on 24-7 alert. Honey, well, you got to understand that David came on. He's looking to get rid of us in the worst way possible. So we figure the more hours we put in, you know, the more indispensable we become. And more exhausted. Well, yeah, but that's why we're working together, you know? I take care of her. She takes care of me. I want to take care of you. Oh, baby, you do. You do take care of me. Oh, I know we should take care of me. All right. Well, I got to go now. I'll be back. And I love you. I love you. I love you. See you soon. Mm. I won't be long. Don't. I need those pieces. You look busy. What are you doing here? 
Uh, can a father visit his daughter at work? Yeah, just uh, a little strange when they work at the same place and the daddy's been suspended. You didn't just say that. <laughs> just wanted to make sure nobody's giving you grief since I'm not here to uh, watch your back. Oh, I don't need you here to watch my back while you were here. So you say. Oh, so uh, you finally snagged that snake Domenico, huh? Don't look so surprised. I'm not surprised. Good work. You just make sure you double check his priors. That one has a habit of slipping through the cracks. What? Just trying to help? You probably shouldn't be here. I was suspended, not fired. You still shouldn't be weighing in on casework. All right. that. Uh, fine. Forget what I said. Come on. Wait, look. That I understand that it's hard. You not working. I'm working. On what? Hayward. If I can prove he had a hand in that plane crash, I can get his ass finally out of that hospital and behind bars where he belongs. What? Nothing. You know it ain't nothing. You got something to say? Say it. All right. Uh, well, since you're not my boss at the moment, I guess I'll be blunt. We both know that you want Hayward out of Angie's life for good. But if there's one thing we know about Hayward, is when you push him, he pushes right back. You, you keep trying to nail him, you could be the one that pays with your job. Do you really think Angie needs one more thing to worry about, Dad? Why wouldn't Dr. Belden tell me the results on the phone? Well, you wait a second. You like to deal with your patients face to face. Well, right? he sounded grim. Don't do that. Don't always expect the worst. No, it's, it's more than that, Jake. I mean, I've been feeling a little off. But the meds have been working, right? Well, the periods of vision loss have been fewer and shorter since I've been taking the triazole meds. Have you been experiencing any side effects that I don't know about? Constant headache. I'm exhausted. Queasiness. Mm, I think that's just the stress. Where are we meeting this guy? In one of the private consultation rooms. Right. This way David won't bother you. Well, Dr. Bilden, he uh, understands my need for privacy. Good. Lead the way. You don't have to come with me. But I didn't, I didn't come down here. To, no. I'm not letting you face the music alone. Let's go. Show me. Order whatever you want. It's on me. Oh, you must have really wanted me out of that station. You never pay. Now, don't make me regret it. You're actually in luck. I ain't really that hungry. Well, why don't you have a beer then? You think this is gonna get my mind off Hayward? That's what you're doing, right? Look, I don't blame you for wanting to nail this guy. After all the stunts this creep has pulled on you and Angie, I want to bring him down myself. But you were the one who taught me to keep my cool when stuff got hot. I ain't nowhere near the deep end on this one, kiddo. Not yet. Oh, nice. Nice to know you got, <laughs> you got faith in your old man. I just, I don't want to see your hate for Hayward turn into something worse, Dad. <sighs> Okay, more than, worse than a suspension, like permanent unemployment or prison. You haven't seen close up the effect this man has had on Angela. She can't eat, she can't sleep. She, she's a wreck. And there's nothing I can do to help her. And she's a strong woman. She can take Hayward. She shouldn't have to. Your love is her rock. Your love is what's gotten her through this garbage so far. Yes, follow. Yes, okay. Right now? All right, I'm on my way. Now I gotta get back. I'll try. I'll try. Look, stay, stay here. Relax. Rodriguez is doing meter readings around the corner. I'm gonna catch a ride with him. All right, finish your beer. I love you. Jack. Hi. Hey, how's the other work widow doing? 